What's the difference between these two glasses of milk? The same? Not so sure. The first contains fresh milk produced by a Senegalese producer and her cows. The second is actually powdered milk, produced in Europe, thickened with palm oil, and sold to Senegal for 30% less than the first. How did things become so absurd? Since removing their dairy quotas, Europe produces far too much milk compared to demand. The result? The price per liter has dropped, just like the income of European producers who are forced to sell their milk to manufacturers at rock-bottom prices. At the same time, the global demand for butter has significantly increased, and its price has shot up. Manufacturers have seized the opportunity. They extract the fat content from milk to make butter, which they sell at a higher price. This results in large quantities of skim milk, processed into powder to be stored. But how to get rid of it? To replace the animal fat, this powder is enriched with palm oil, an oil that is 12 times less expensive than butter. A minor detail, its production causes massive deforestation. This fake milk is then exported to West Africa, where it's sold for up to 30% less than local milk. This aggressive competitor smothers the region's producers, preventing them from making a living from their work. Mislabeled, this substitute can be mistaken for real milk, but it doesn't have its nutritional properties and can be unhealthy to drink. The European productivist model is pushed to the extreme for the benefit of manufacturers and at the expense of farmers in the North and South, the environment and the health of consumers. In Africa, like in Europe, producers are mobilizing themselves to defend and develop their local food sectors. Let's not export our problems. Locally and abroad, let's support our producers.